deep in the jungle, in an undisclosed location. Dread Comics is proud to present the 1943 movie serial, The Phantom. The Phantom is an American adventure comic strip, first published by Lee Falk in February 1936. The main character, The Phantom, is a fictional costumed crime fighter who operates from the fictional African country of Bangala. The character has been adapted for television, film and video games. The series began with a daily newspaper strip on February 17, 1936, followed by a Color Sunday strip on May 28, 1939. Both are still running as of 2020. In 1966, King Features stated that The Phantom was being published in 583 newspapers worldwide. At its peak, the strip was read by over 100 million people daily. Falk worked on The Phantom until his death in 1999. Since his death, the comic strip has been written by Tony DePaul. Since 2016, it has been drawn by Mike Manley, Monday to Saturday, and, since 2017, Jeff Weigel, Sunday. Previous artists on the newspaper strip include Ray Moore, Wilson McCoy, Bill Ligment, Cy Berry, George Oleson, Keith Williams, Fred Fredericks. Graham Nolan, Eduardo Barreto, Paul Ryan, and Terry Beatty. In the strip, the fandom was 21st in a line of crime fighters which began in 1536, when the father of British sailor Christopher Walker was killed during a pirate attack. Swearing an oath on the skull of his father's murderer to fight evil, Christopher began a legacy of the phantom which would pass from father to son. Nicknames for the phantom include the ghost who walks. Guardian of the East turned dark and the man who cannot die. Unlike many other superheroes, the Phantom has no superpowers, he totally relies on his strength, intelligence and the myth of his immortality to take action against the forces of evil. The 21st Phantom is married to Diana Palmer, they met while he studied in the United States and they had two children, Kit and Hello Eyes. He has a trained wolf named Devil and a horse named Hero. And like the 20 previous phantoms he lives in the ancient skull cave. The phantom was the first fictional hero to wear the skin-tight costume which has become a hallmark of comic book superheroes, and was the first shown in a mask with no visible pupils, another superhero standard. Comics historian Peter Coogan has described the phantom as a transitional figure, since the phantom has some of the characteristics of pulp magazine heroes such as the shadow and the spider and earlier jungle heroes such as Tars and, as well as anticipating the features of comic book heroes such as Superman, Batman, and Captain America. After the success of Mandrake the Magician, King Features Syndicate tasked Falk to develop a new feature. His first effort was to write and draw a strip about King Arthur and his knights. When King Features rejected the strip, Falk developed the Phantom, a mysterious, caused him crime fighter. He planned the first few months of the story, and drew the first two weeks as a sample. Fascinated by myths and legends, such as King Arthur and El Cid, and the modern fictional characters Zorro, Tarzan and the Jungle Book's Mowgli, Falk envisioned the character as wealthy playboy Jimmy Wells by day and the crime-fighting Phantom by night. During his first story, The Singh Brotherhood, before disclosing that Wells was the Phantom, Falk changed the setting to a jungle and made the Phantom an apparently mortal, mythic figure. Thinking that there were already too many characters called the Phantom, including the Phantom Detective and find a name he liked better and decided to stay with the Phantom. In the A&E American cable TV documentary The Phantom, comic strip Crusader, 12, Falk explained that Greek busts inspired him to knit the fandom's pupils when the character was wearing his mask. He incorrectly believed that ancient Greek busts had no pupils, they were painted on originally and faded with time, which he said gave them an inhuman, awe-inspiring appearance. 9. In an interview for Comic Book Marketplace, Falk said the fandom's skin-tight costume was inspired by Robin Hood, who wore tights in films and on stage. Falk was a Shakespeare enthusiast and the comic included several references to Shakespeare. These include the third phantom playing Juliet in the original premiere of Romeo and Juliet, as well as marrying Shakespeare's niece.
The Phantom began as a daily strip on February 17, 1936 with a Sing Brotherhood, written by Falk and drawn by him for two weeks and then by Ray Moore, assistant to artist Phil Davis on Mandrake the Magician. That year, The Phantom was serialized in the Australian Woman's Mirror. A Sunday Phantom strip was added on May 28, 1939. During World War II Falk joined the Office of War Information, where he became chief of the Radio Foreign Language Division. Moore also served during the war and left the strip to his assistant, Wilson McCoy. When Moore returned he worked sporadically on the strip until 1949, when McCoy succeeded him. 19. During McCoy's tenure, the Phantom appeared in thousands of newspapers worldwide and was smuggled by boat into Nazi-occupied Norway during the war. Phantom was a password for the Norwegian resistance movement. McCoy died unexpectedly in 1961. Carmen Infantino and Bill Ligment, who later drew several Phantom stories for comic books, filled in before a successor was found in Cyberry. 21. During Barry's early years he and Falk modernized the strip, laying the foundation for what is considered the Phantom's modern look. Under Barry, Bangal became a democracy and the character of President Laman de Luaga was introduced. Barry worked on the Phantom for over 30 years until his 1994 retirement, drawing a total of about 11,000 strips. His longtime assistant George Ollison remained on the strip as penciler, with Keith Williams inking the daily strip. The Sunday strip was inked by Eric Dosher until Fred Fredericks succeeded him in 1995. Falk continued to script The Phantom and Mandrake until his death on March 13, 1999. His last daily and Sunday strip stories, Terror at the Opera and the Kidnappers, were finished by his wife Elizabeth after her husband pulled off his oxygen mask in the hospital to dictate the storyline. After Falk's death King Features cooperated with European comic publisher Egmand, publisher of the Swedish Phantom and Magazine, which changed from publishing Phantom stories in comic book format to providing the newspaper strip as well, by adapting their own Phantom comic book stories into the strip format. Phantom and writers Tony DePaul and Clay's Rhea Murthy alternated as writers of the newspaper strip after Falk died, with DePaul handling the daily strips and Rhea Murthy the Sunday ones. DePaul would later become the strip's sole writer. Some stories were adapted from those originally published in Phantom N. In 2000, Allison and Fredericks retired from the Sunday strip. It was continued by comic book artist Graham Nolan, who had drawn three Phantom and covers. In early 2005 Ollies and Ann Williams left the Daily Strip after Ollies and retired, and artist Paul Ryan, who had worked on the Phantom and comic stories and had been a fan of the character since childhood, took over the Daily Strip. Ryan succeeded Nolan as artist on the Sunday Strip in 2007. On July 31, 2011, Eduardo Barreto became the Sunday Page artist. He died after only a few months, and Ryan temporarily took over the Sunday Page again on January 15, 2012, which featured a memorial to Barreto. Ryan also did the following week's strip, before Perry Beatty became Barreto's replacement. Ryan died at his home unexpectedly on March 7, 2016. Mike Manley succeeded Ryan as artist on The Fandom beginning with a strip dated May 30, 2016. Beatty stepped down as Sunday Wordist in 2017, and was replaced by Jeff Weigel. The Phantom is a 1943 Columbia Pictures 15-chapter black-and-white cliffhanger superhero serial, produced by Rudolph C. Flottow, directed by Reeves Eason, and starring Tom Tyler in the title role. It is based on Lee Falk's comic strip The Phantom, first syndicated to newspapers in 1936 by King Features Syndicate. The serial also features John Bates as the Phantom's girlfriend Diana Palmer, and Ace the Wonder Dog as the Phantom's trusty German Shepherd Devil, who is a wolf in the original comic strip. Professor Davidson plans an expedition to find the lost city of Zolaz. The location of the city is contained on seven pieces of ivory, three of which Davidson already possesses. Dr. Bremer however, intends to find the lost city and use it as a secret airbase for his unnamed country. To remove him as an obstacle, 
He kills the Phantom, only for his recently returned son, Jeffrey Prescott, to inherit the family identity and take over the mantle of the Phantom. Three of the remaining ivory pieces are owned by Singapore Smith, who initially steals Davidson's pieces. The seventh, and most important, piece is missing at first but turns up in the possession of Tartar, which the Phantom acquires by wrestling Tartar's pet gorilla. The Phantom star Tom Tyler as both Godfrey Prescott and the Phantom. Jean Bates would play Diana Palmer. Like most serials, the Phantom had a low budget. Most of the serial was filmed in the Hollywood Hills, which doubled as the African jungle. For the serial, the Phantom's real name is Jeffrey Prescott. In the comic strip, his real name had not yet been introduced. One. The Phantom's real name was eventually introduced into the comic strip as Kit Walker. The Phantom tells Singapore Smith to call him Walker when he covers his costume with a hat, dark glasses, and an overcoat so he can enter civilization unobtrusively. And now, Thread Comics is proud to present The Phantom 1943 Serial Chapter 10 The Chamber of Death the Astari tribe under his thumb, Dr. Bremer conceives a fantastic idea. I'm afraid of what they may do to you. Speak for yourself, John. Sure, and don't let the fat him out once I get him in there. Leave it to me. My people, I have conquered the flames again. Welcome, old phantom. I have waited many moons for this hour. Now I know the reason for my urge to come here. I, the daughter of the sun, believe that you too are immortal. Phantom is a man who never dies. Prove that to me. Go through these flames and come out unscorched the same as I did. 
Listen to them. They say you're afraid. The Phantom doesn't dare. I'll do it. With the understanding that after I come out, you'll immediately release my friends. Your request is my command. I am ready. He's one man in a million. They will be disposed of later. Just a moment. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to release them according to our bargain. You're not the Fire Princess. Distari! This woman is a fraud, and I'll prove it! Look! This is the door through which she escaped from the flames. Distari! You've been misled by this woman. Are you going to stand for it? Get out of here right away. What happened? Everything went wrong. The phantom got out of the fire and then made a monkey out of the princess. Did she tell him anything about me? No, I let her have it before she got a chance. Good, then I can still accomplish what I came here for. But if we're going to get the best of the phantom, you've got to do exactly as I say. You can count on me, Doc. Good, come on. Why don't they hurry with that stretcher? Here they come now. Boku, run up all the white men in this village. I want to question them. Yes, Master. Wait here, I'll get some natives. Over on the pallet. You'll be all right. We're looking for the man who shot you. Thank you. Tell me, who are you? I'm Ruby Dawn. I was a dancer in Saipan. You should have stayed there instead of attempting this crazy stunt. A person has to eat, you know. And Saipan is a tough place to make a living. I suppose those white men in the village are with you? Yes. The four of us came here together. Ask her about Sarka. There's a chief named Sarka who ruled this tribe. What's become of him? He wasn't here when I arrived. Now tell me the truth. Who's behind all this? Who sent you to this place? Why did you have my friends and myself brought here as prisoners? That wasn't my idea. Get on in there. Does anyone here know this man? 
I do. I caught him trying to sneak out of the village just as I came in. He's the man that forced us into the boat after the natives surrounded us. Pickpocket from Brooklyn, eh? Keep an eye on him. You're just in time, Doctor. The girl's badly wounded and needs medical attention. Oh? This is indeed a surprise. We thought you were in Longo. No, I just returned from there. I was on my way to Sapana when I heard the drums telling of your capture. I came as quickly as I could. Well, let's have a look at her. No! No! She's fainted again. She's dead. Sorry, I guess I didn't get here soon enough. Moko and his starry warriors catch these men. Good work, Moko. Put them under guard. I shall judge them in the morning. Moko bring important news. Moko find Chief Sarka. Sarka? Where is he? Him very sick. You come, I show you. Uh, Dr. Bremer, you better come along. The rest of you wait here, please. This way, Master. Come on, fella. Salka in there. Salka. Salka, this is the Phantom. Too late again. The poor fellow's dead. No, him not dead. When Moko come before, he hears Salka groan. Could it be possible, Doctor, that he might have been drugged? Well, that's hardly likely. Salka was leader of a peaceful tribe. Moko, you're right. Sarka is alive. What? I've never seen a trance like this before. You've got to bring him out of a doctor. Well, I'll do what I can. It's a matter of finding the right antidote. I'll get my medicine. Uh, Moko will get him for you. No, thanks. I'll have to mix a prescription for him. I won't be long. <laughs> We won't be in here long. Bremer will get us out the moment he shut Sarka's mouth for good. Why didn't he polish him off in the first place instead of just slipping him that Mickey? Well, he wanted him to hold us a threat over the fire princess in case she stepped out of line. Who cares about that? All I'm interested in is to get out of here. plans. We have to make the Phantom think that you escaped and then abducted me. Why go to all that trouble? Because I know he'll search for him. I've got a trap all set for him. What makes you so sure he'll look for you? The Phantom knows I'm the only one that can save Sarka's life. Nothing like leaving a clue. Come on. Number two. Comes through this door, we've got him. Through here. See this rope? Controls a trap door on the floor. Right here. When the phantom hits it, he'll drop to the level below. What's down there? Just a big surprise for the man that never dies. <laughs> hey, when'd you rig this up? I didn't. I'm just taking advantage of what the Australia used for the execution of the criminals. Get back in there, boys, and wait. Drake, you go to the entrance. If you see him coming, let us know. I just had to come here to find out how he is. Don't worry, Dr. Bremer just left to fix the medicine. That's your snap out of it. He'll have to bring him, too. You know, Zarka is the only one who can tell us how to get his oldest. Yes, yes, I know. But this weight isn't doing him any good. Bremer should be back by now. I'll see what's delaying him. Go on.
Okay, fella. Go find him. Go find Dr. Bremer. I just saw the phantom and his dog coming this way. Good. Get back in close. You stay here, devil. Ivory Key? Are these strange men another group of saboteurs? Learn the answer in the Emerald Key, the next thrilling episode of The Phantom, at this theater next week. Oh, my God.